Okay, welcome to Kipe, uh, Kipe Electric from Germany. What we are promoting here is the high power charging concept where you charge your electric bus with 800 kilowatts. What we say, you charge in five minutes and then you go again in your route with the bus. And then on the other side of the terminal, you charge again five minutes. So our approach is high power charging with 800 kilowatts at the terminals. And finally, we allow to the operators to operate the bus like a diesel bus. The diesel bus is 24 seven on the route and it's only going for pit stop. So this is the same concept that we are following with our electric bus, five minute charge, and then you're on the route again. We have the both technology, the technology on the bus itself and the technology at the charging stations. We, we provide both solutions. Charging stations, we have solutions where we connect to the catenary overhead lines of tramways, of uh, electric trains, or to the public grid, or alternative sources like uh, solar energy, wind energy. And on the bus itself, we, we use high, high power batteries like LTO technology, where you can charge with very high power. We are focusing with this concept on BRT, BRT lines, which are very common in different cities where you have the need for high, high capacity transport, where you all day long you transport a high number of passengers and the bus is always on the route, charging at the terminals for a very few minutes. It's the first time that we showcase this here, the first time that we are showing this. Um, what Kipe is focusing is really on this high power, 800 kilowatt. This is something new. When you look at the market, it's, it stops at 400, 400 kilowatts, but we are going to 800 kilowatts. First point. Second point, what is the advantage? If you look at the diesel operated lines, you have a lot of costs, recurring costs with diesel and CO2 emission certificate. We don't have this anymore with electric cars. So at the initial capex, you, have, you might have a higher invest with the electric bus and LTO batteries. But later on in the operation during 10 years, 20 years, then you have a very low OPEX cost and then the total cost of ownership will of course be lower than with the classic solution. Um, we have to promote our solution toward the operators. Op the operators, the bus operators, the cities, they have to, do, to understand the concept, the total cost of ownership, which is cheaper, cheaper, better when you use our concept. Then in the second step, we go to the bus builders. The bus builders implement our systems, complete systems, where we uh, optimize the system for um, a bus lifetime of 20 years with one battery exchange in the middle of the, of the 20 years or 10 years. And when we, when we are able to convince the end customers, the operators, and the bus builders, then, then we are successful. Well, besides the charging infrastructure, uh, we, are, we provide a complete charging infrastructure for this kind of operation. We can also provide charging infrastructure for other bus suppliers, which is independent from our solution. So the charging infrastructure that we are focusing on is connected to the overhead wires from, from cities. When you, when you think about in a city where you have the public grid distributing the energy in the city, and in parallel you have overhead wires from LRV or from metro or from train, these two networks are complementary. So what we enable to the customers is to connect to the overhead wire grid or network and charge electric bus throughout the cities or in the depots. This is the second technology or solution that we are providing independently of the electric bus concept. <laughs>